Albany as they're six and seven going into this one. But they take on Syracuse, who's undefeated at home this year. Orange undefeated at home, undefeated against non-Power 5 opponents. And this place is filling in and getting loud, expecting 6,000 kids on school day this morning and a 10.30 start inside the Dome. Tisha Hyman, bigly outsized, loses the tip to begin the game, and the Great Danes in their purple to start off right to left. Starting lineup for you Albany looks like this. Phillips, Heaps, Haney, DeCortez, and Hygerstrand in there for you Albany. Tisha Hyman with the basketball for the Cuse. Rim is out. Hyman coming off back-to-back single-digit performances for the second time since last season. That's just the first time since last year when she had a four and a five-point performance in Bahamas last November. Deja Fair has been shouldering the load for that Syracuse offense, but they do need to get the other half of that dynamic backcourt. Hyman going as they go into ACC play. Syracuse starting this one off in player-to-player -player defense, which they do to start most games. Down low, Hagerstrand can't miss. She gets her own rebound, and she'll head to the line. U Albany is going to try and slow down the pace of this game a little bit. They're a bit more methodical offensively than Syracuse is. They did take a pretty early shot on that first possession with Phillips firing away, but expect them to go deeper in the shot clock than the Orange do. Edgar Strand, preseason America East selection drills her first free throw. And that's a key for U Albany, slowing down the pace against a Syracuse team that loves to run and winning the rebounding battle. One for two trips for Hagerstrand, but another offensive rebound by U Albany. De Cortez grabs the board, jump ball, possession arrow back the way of the Cues. And that's something U Albany will focus on in this game is not allowing Syracuse to get offensive rebounds, but it's U Albany forcing the issue on that front so far. Orange sticking with a similar starting lineup today. Fair, Hyman, Woolley, Lewis, and Rice. Orange though still over to begin the game, one minute in. Haney to the basket, runner rims out. Rebound fought for on the same team. And Dariana Lewis, one of the top rebounders in the ECC, pulls down the board for the Orange. They are still averaging a double-double this season. Huge affair off the mark and is a rebound for the Great Dames. The senior Grace Heaps pulls down the board for Albany. The Danes here are slowing down the tempo. This is a defensive-minded Albany team, second in the country behind Central Florida a season ago in points per game, allowing opponents under 50. Hagerstrand going to the basket, no good. And here's DeAsia Fair. She wants to push the pace through three Albany defenders. Gets the lefty floater to drop. And she sends all the kids here in the Dome into a frenzy as Syracuse takes their first lead. Fair, her game has really evolved this season. And we know what she can do putting it on the deck with her lateral quickness, but she's learning from her opponents in every game as well. Lily Phillips on the right wing for you, Albany, the only member of this Great Dane starting lineup to start every game this season. Tie up down low, Deanna Lewis. Syracuse will still be on defense. Syracuse emphasizes moving it in transition, and they have that speed with the Asia Fair finishing there with the left hand, turning that defense into offense. Freya Vert checks into the game for the first time for the Great Dane. So does Kayla Cooper the most outstanding player in the America East Tournament last season for U Albany. Who's also their leading rebounder last year. The Great Danes the can't get a shot violation. off. That's shot that's clock violation. Order. And you gotta imagine Coach Leggett Jack loves that. She said after the game against Wake Forest, she will pull players for bad defense and said, nobody lets anyone into their mom's house without guarding the door. That's her metaphor for the way Syracuse wants to play defense. Dorian Lewis way off the mark. And Elena Rice, the last to touch it. Lewis firing away there from the short corner, but that was a tough shot. Just glanced off the side of the backboard. And Syracuse now moves into a press for the first time this morning. Both teams starting out cold. A combined one for nine from the floor for each side. 
Maybe the early start has something to do with that, although both co both coaches did tell us that they do practice early in the morning somewhat often, so they should be ready for this. Kayla Cooper to the basket. That's a tough take with the left Over hand. Goal by Kayla Cooper. Cooper was their leading rebounder last year, a key to that run to the America East title, but has only been practicing for about a week so far this year. There, a step back three, rims out, and here's Phillips. Odd women break if she wants it. Heaps, kicks it. Hurts, sticks it. Great find by Heaps down near the block. Found a, had a decent shot down there, but found a better shot. And U Albany gets all three of them. They call it a long two, but still a tough take by Freya Vert, a sophomore from Sweden. Five two U Albany. U Albany is showing well on those on ball screens versus Syracuse and the tough shots, but Wooly gets one. Georgia Wooly. A dead-eye shooter from beyond the arc knocks it through, and we're all not up at five. Good to see Georgia Wally get on the scoreboard so early in this one. She hasn't shot a ton of threes or made a ton yet this season, but that is a part of her game that Syracuse can utilize when they can get her open for them. Igerstrom can't answer with the three on her end. And here's the Cuse. Orange want to run like they always do. Second in the ACC, only trailing Florida State with nearly 78 possessions per 40 minutes. But he's on and both 12, these teams are going to try, try and win that possession first, battle in different ways one, as Syracuse would rather push the pace, but U Albany needs to take care of the ball as well and win that possession ball. battle. And we've seen it already. Both 12, teams Cheyenne, love to let it fly it. from beyond the arc. Syracuse hasn't done it very well this season, only shooting 27.6% from there, as Deja Fair is the only player who's hit double-digit threes, but Georgia Willie does get one there early for the Orange. And you can see both these coaches with defensive mindsets as these teams have been swarming defensively, but both offenses doing a pretty nice job of taking care of the ball so far. Coach will get Jack looking for an explanation on who this foul is on. It's called on Cheyenne McEvans, and it looks like that will be the call that stays. McEvans into the game for the first time, fresh off a hard hat, given to one of the Syracuse players that has the most hustle play. She won that in SU's win over Wake Forest. Here's Tisha Hyman, knife with the basket. Five to shoot for McEvans, she pulls up. Long tries to get her own rebound and is fouled on the floor. I believe it's called on Day Cortez there going up for the rebound. McEvans, that's some of that grit and blue collar play that got her the hard hat as she misses the shot but goes after her own rebound and earns Syracuse an extra possession. Deja Fair. Tough take. She got it. Gives a point to her dad who's watching the game from the baseline as she runs into the backcourt. And the Orange back on top. Orange trying to speed up the Great Danes here. And turnovers have been an issue for you, you Albany, partially because they've used so many different lineups. But the chemistry just has not been there yet. And they'll need to take care of it if they want to stay in this one. Give and go to Vert, but her layup is high off the glass and rims out. Great Danes will keep. Terms apply. Tells for war mo morning women's basketball inside the dome. Seven to five, Syracuse with the early lead over U Albany, and this score remains seven to five because this three remains a two. They say Bird's foot was on the line. And yeah, they were looking back at this one, the referees, and it's very close, but apparently not close enough for them to change it to a three, which would have made it seven to six. But Syracuse remains in the lead. It's been a slow-going affair offensively for both teams thus far. Cortez stripped, fight for the ball, and Lewis is on the ground. And that is our third tie-up. Just over five minutes in, this time the possession arrow is back the way of the orange. It's been pretty physical to start off this one. Syracuse has brought Asia Strong back into the game, and that will give them some boost on the rebounding side of things. And it looks like U Albany has gone into a zone defensively. McEvans looking to get the ball down low into traffic, but there's Asia Strong to get it. Extra feed Lewis, and her layup banks in. 
Good post-to-post -post action there from Syracuse Strong, finding Lewis instead of forcing up a shot of her own. Syracuse leads 9-5. Dariana Lewis, one of the most intimidating presence down low in the ECC, second in the conference in rebounds per game. Third in blocks. 20 blocks on the season for Lewis, a significant mark there. U Albany, on the other hand, only has 28 as a team this season. Haney pulls from three and connects. Haney getting going, getting the start in this one, and has been a little bit limited so far this season, coming off another knee injury, but moving pretty well so far. Just her third game of the season, now four for six from deep on the year. Tisha Hyman trying to drive baseline, she does for two. Hyman with a beautiful baseline drive there, finishing with the right hand on the left side under the basket, and now getting her hands in the passing lanes as she does so well. Orange press wreaking havoc, but the Great Danes get it over the timeline. Karen Sanford into the game for the first time for Albany. Has it now top of the key. Eight to shoot. Skip pass into the corner. Burt lost the handle. Another fight for it and another jump ball. Good defensive possession for Syracuse again, forcing Albany to keep it around the perimeter and not get it down low to De Cortez, which is when the Albany offense is best, when they can get it down to the low post or to the high post. And Cooper comes back in now, and Heigerstrand as well for the Great Danes. Albany adding some size now into this lineup, trying to counter the combination of Strong and Lewis. Shot at the shot clock, buzzer goes. Helian Heigerstrom knocks it down. Heigerstrom so tough to defend on those jumpers. She has a very high release point and has range from the rim all the way back to the three-point line. Asia Strong bullying her way to the basket. Rims out. And there are the great Danes on the glass, but a turnover. Woolley gets into the passing lane. Trying to get it to fair. Pass was offline, but a foul in transition on New Albany. Willie read that perfectly, jumping in exactly the way that zone press defense is supposed to work, forcing the other team to make mistakes. And New Albany nearly got one back, but Cooper gets a whistle. Sonia Wilson in the game for the first time for the Orange, as an Abby Ray for U Albany. Here's Willie trying to go to the basket, stripped, and off her leg out of bounds. The Great Danes have done a nice job so far forcing Deasia Bear to get the ball out of her hands. They're not going to be able to contain her entirely, but that's something they'll focus on, is getting it out of her hands and then denying her so she can't get it back and forcing someone else for Syracuse to beat them. That was one of the keys Coach Mullen told us in our conversation yesterday. Try to deny the ball in Deasia Fair's hand. The great teams have done well doing that, limiting the orange to just 11 points. Phillips from the corner, up front rim. Here's Fair looking to run, 2 on one with Strong. Looks to the basket, pulls up. Back iron. And U Albany has a rebound. Dane's impressive on the glass so far. Now with nine rebounds compared to SU6. That was another thing Coach Mullen talked about was not allowing those weak side offensive rebounds and allowing Syracuse to get extra possessions. So far, so good on that front for the Great Danes. McEvans into the passing lane. Easy finish. Turnovers were the Achilles heel for you all, but in the loss to Ohio State. 20 turnovers for the Great Danes against the number three team in the nation. You all, but only trailed by three at the half in that game, but turnovers in the second half really did him in. Something that Coach Mullen wanted to avoid today. Answer on the offensive end, Cooper finishes at the rim. New Albany does have three players with more than 20 assists, but four with more than 20 turnovers, so it has been an issue, especially the unforced ones. And they know that Syracuse is going to turn them into points like Cheyenne McEvans did a few seconds ago. New Albany defense, though, continuing to be impressive. The number two defense in the land a season ago, first in the America East right now. Allowing just under 58 points per game. Impressive when you look at their non-conference slate. Games against Boston College, number three, Ohio State. You already forced another turnover, an offensive foul on Deasia Fair, who's lifted for Tisha Hyman. 
Well, the organization of that defense under Coach Mullen and showing on screens and doubling when necessary clearly does not wilt depending on the opponent. I mean, they have faced some big time moments, even going back to last season, playing Louisville in the NCAA tournament and winning their conference tournament on the road. And to shoot for you, Albany. De Cortez to the basket, blocked away. Here comes the Cuse in transition. Hyman to the basket, strong layup won't go. McEvans follow won't either. And the Danes pick up the rebound. Both these defenses continue to impress there as Syracuse was able to recover after a nice pass by Phillips down low on the previous U Albany possession, but it seems like there's a lid on the rim on the other side for the Orange. U Albany can hold for the last shot and take a lead into the end of the first quarter, and they'll do just that. Vert for three. U Albany up by two after 10 minutes. School day here inside the dome. The youngsters rooting for Syracuse, not happy that the. Packed house for school day here inside the JMA, where U Albany has the two point lead after 10 minutes, 15 13. Dames doing what they wanted to do, stopping the Orange defensively and rebounding the basketball. They've made this into their game, a bit of a defensive struggle here. I don't think the kids mind, but the Orange need to get the offense moving a little more fluidly and getting out in transition here in the second quarter. Georgia Woolley, tough take to the basket with the left hand. Woolley finishing through the contact. She also had that three-pointer in the first quarter. Hasn't scored a ton this season, but getting going early in this one. Averaging just over seven points per game, now with five already. We're back tied up again, 15 apiece. Fatima leading into the game for the first time for you all, but now all 10 of their players active today for the Danes have seen minutes in just the first 11 minutes of this contest. And getting players back healthy has been a key for them as they stick the three there. Lee getting going. And she's come up hobbling. They call it a three as Woolley tries to counter. Way off the mark. Asia Strong, though, fights for it and wins the battle in the offensive glass. Syracuse sticking with both Strong and Lewis in the front court. A big lineup. Lewis trying to play bully ball, and she does a little bit too much. Haney hits the deck, it's an offensive foul. And Lee, who is struggling through that defensive possession, limps over to the Danes, Great Danes bench. Here's the injury here, top of the key. Looks like she steps right in the foot of Tisha Hyman, who's trying to close out. Looked like she rolled her ankle coming down off of that shot as Hyman was in the landing area. And that's a blow to a U Albany team who has been plagued by lower leg injuries this season. And also is a little thin in the backcourt as it is with no true point guard. This place gets really loud for this Great Danes possession. U Albany trying to play inside to out. Cooper down low. Turnaround jumper. Friendly roll. Healy and Hagerstrand gets you to drop. Hagerstrand with a tough finish, silencing the crowd here. And Hyman turns it over. You Albany doesn't love to run, but they can right now if they want to, and they don't. Haney pulls back to start a new possession. Haney read that one perfectly as well, and it's you Albany really getting in Syracuse's face and forcing some turnovers early in this game. Great Danes playing at the pace they want to play at. Hygerstrand for three. Syracuse ball. Hygerstrand wants that one back as she had an open look there but missed it well off to the right. Number 13, Lucia De Cortez in for U Albany. And for Syracuse, number 25, Elena Rice. U Albany continuing to make a bunch of substitutions. You mentioned the injury bug that has been plaguing them. It's been a venomous injury bug plaguing this Great Danes team. Six different starting lineup combinations now in 14 games. Still not healthy. Three players out with injury today. Elena Rice is in the game and she gets on the scoreboard. 
And Jordan stay in this press. You're, for you, Albany, we haven't even mentioned that their leading scorer, Ellen Hane, has been sick, missed the last two games, and we don't see her out there today. Coming off a COVID break. Not active today, haven't seen her. Phillips, left side. Rice trying to push. Fair, open look. Doesn't want it. Now she gets into the paint. And Elena Rice walks. Rare recurrence, you see De'Asia Fair pass up a wide open look like that. I was surprised as well as she had the three there but looked for a better look. And unfortunately the, for the Orange, they turn it over instead. They're shooting just 25% from beyond the arc this year. But as the only member of the Orange with more than seven three-pointers, she's got 25 and hit all of the team's three three-pointers in the win over Wake Forest on Sunday. Phillips forgot the basketball but picks it up. Dane's trying to extend their lead. De Cortez blocked away by Lewis. Who gets fouled? Another block for Dariana Lewis. That's two today in this game, I believe. She came in with 20. And Lewis acting as a rim protector for the Orange, as well as their leading rebounder. Number 12, Freya Burt, returning to the U Albany lineup. Continues to be rampant pace substitutions here for U Albany. Cooper back into the game, Haney back into the game. Phillips, Hagerstrand take a seat. They continue to get fresh legs in there. This is a little bit of a smaller lineup with De Cortez out, but Cooper and Vert will be tasked with cleaning up the glass for the Great Danes now against the Syracuse rebounding tandem of Strong and Lewis. Syracuse still looking for something offensively. SU offense still really hasn't found a rhythm. They are trying to change that. And she'll head to the line. When Fair's game isn't necessarily going the way she wants it to offensively, she knows she can get to the line. She did that in the fourth quarter against Wake Forest, and here she does it again, not really looking to make this shot, but getting the foul call, and she does that, forcing the defender to make contact. And she's a great free throw shooter, 82% on the season, and that number's gone up with her performance against Wake Forest as well. Sixth in the ETC, shooting free throws. She makes her first. 19 points per game for De'Asia Fair, third in the ECC in scoring, fourth in the country in scoring last season at Buffalo. Trying to tie this game up. She does. 19 apiece, much to the pleasure of this Syracuse crowd. Syracuse now with three players in the front court of that press. Still trying to speed the Great Danes up, but the Great Danes, for the most part, have been able to get it across half court and settle back in to their half court offense. Slide out, slide out, slide out. Hurt playing inside out. Haney, good pass, Cooper, who travels. Cooper tried to get an extra pass there. She may have had a look under the basket, but had Dariana Lewis noted has a, has a block in this game bearing down on her, but Good ball movement from you, Albany, but Syracuse has been defending for the full 30 seconds of the shot clock. Woolley from the parking lot in and out. Let's see if you, Albany, wants to push in transition. Haney thought about it. It'll slow things down. Hurt working on strong. Tough take to the basket, plus one more. Freya Vert pacing you, Albany, hitting a few from beyond the arc, and now she goes right at the rim. Finishes through the contact, looking for the old-fashioned three-point play as Asia Strong shuffled and got position, but Dariana Lewis came over to help, and Vert finished through both defenders there. This is U Albany's third free-throw attempt. The Great Danes didn't shoot a single free-throw in the loss to Ohio State last week. Vert completes the three-point play, and U Albany back up three. Oh, is she dangerous off the bounce? Gets the basket. Fall away short. And you Albany continuing to lead on the glass. 13-12. The 
Great Danes with the advantage. And they continue to have a player show on the help side when needed against Deja Fair, and that was another tough shot from Fair. Kirk feeling it, can't get this three to drop, but an offensive rebound by the Great Danes, and more opportunity to drain that clock and play at the U Albany pace. They follow that one. Coach Begetchak not happy with Syracuse not getting the defensive rebound, and U Albany makes the second chance count there. Vert again. Burt first in double figures. Syracuse hasn't scored in three minutes, and now they have. DeAsia Fair finally adds water to the drought, and Syracuse is back on the board. Fair with the tear job there, attacking the rim early in transition, and this is an interesting chess match, Calvin, between these two coaches, both trying to force the issue and play at their own pace, and the other team does not want to do it in both cases. Cooper thought about passing, said, I'll take this myself, and I'll shoot two from the charity strike. U Albany playing at the pace the Great Danes want to. U Albany up three, four minutes to go first half. Twenty-four, twenty-one. The Great Danes of U Albany with the lead here in the first half. The reigning champs of the America East Conference is the U Albany Great Danes, a team picked to finish the conference first again. Well, they return 11 players from that conference tournament winning team, including their top 10 scorers from last year. Mind you, they haven't had all of those players on the court at the same time this year as they've been plagued by injuries, but now getting healthy and they are dealing with this adversity and now getting healthy going into that conference schedule and sticking it to Syracuse early in this one. A team philosophy led by Coach Mullen to play for each other, a player-driven philosophy as one of their big-time players, Kayla Cooper. The most outstanding player in the America East Conference Tournament last season. Drills both free throws. And you open, he has a five-point lead. Another thing Coach Mullen mentioned is this team really did not have a bona fide star last year and with a very similar roster that's somewhat the case this year. They don't necessarily have a go-to player in any given game, but more they defend by committee and they score by committee as well. Largest lead of the morning for you, Albany. He's just strong. Comes out. There are the Great Danes once again in the glass. Now out rebounding the Orange 15 to 12. Exactly what Coach Mullen wanted her team to do for you all wanted to be able to play at its pace and it's done it so far. And it's just getting possession or getting position rather on the defensive glass. Freya Work got the defensive rebound there and keeping Syracuse's second chances limited. Three to shoot. Heaps needs to heave it. Doesn't get it to drop, but Hagerstrand on the rebound. Tough putback, no good, and here's the cue on the break. Deja Fair has one speed, that's fast, and one! And Fair going at the rim yet again, and getting another and one for the Orange, and getting the kids excited here in the building. Syracuse does it best going in transition, and Fair keeps this one herself, goes right through the defender and draws the call. Another double-digit performance already for Deja Fair, pacing the Orange in this first half. And she completes the three-point play up to 11 points. Syracuse is leading score. Orange press wreaking havoc. Coach Jack's fired up as the Cuse turns the Great Danes over. Can SU take advantage? Fair, floater, no. Rebound, timeout, U Albany. And Coach Mullen takes one here to break the momentum of the Orange as the energy of this building was rising on the Syracuse bench and also in the crowd. It sounded like a football game in here. It did, these kids are making the Loud House loud and it started with Asia Strong, like a football player, jumping that route and Syracuse was unable to finish it on the other end as Fair's shot rimmed out. She passed up the three-point look there. But Fair still having a solid start offensively, getting to the rim and drawing foul calls. And Syracuse right back into this one. Trailing by two. 
both teams need to figure out a way to hold on to the basketball. UL, but I mentioned there are 20 turnovers against Ohio State, already seven here in the first half. Not a recipe for success if they want to beat a Power 5 program. And they turn it over again. Elena Rice into the passing lane. Now eight Great Danes turnovers. Tisha Hyman trying to take advantage, and she does. We're tied at 26. Syracuse Press is wreaking havoc on you, Albany, as they turn that into another points off turnovers as Tisha Hyman getting the jumper there. And the Orange have evened things up. The Syracuse pace is really forcing you, Albany, to play at a pace it does not want to play at. Great Danes finally get into their half court set. Haney for three. She's got it. And Haney stopping the bleeding for U Albany there, and that's a rare early shot clock take, but it was a good look. Loose ball off the miss out of bounds. A Great Dane had their foot out of bounds. Syracuse will keep the basketball. Trailing by three with under two minutes to go in the first half. We'll see what Coach Jack can draw up in this out of bounds play. See if they can get it to Woolley or Fair for a good look outside. Hyman tries to throw it off the back of the defender. Can't get it, she falls. Woolley picks up the loose change but can't hit the three. Hyman, though, skies for the rebound, goes right back to the basket and hits the runner. Tisha Hyman all over the court right now for Syracuse, getting. Another finish there, and Hyman is getting this crowd going yet again. Fatima Lee picked up the basketball, walked onto the court of play, and then tried to inbound it. A turnover on U Albany as the sloppiness of the Great Danes continue, and now the Orange with a chance to take the lead again. Just the type of mental mistake the Great Danes were trying to avoid, and Syracuse has them a bit rattled right now. Hyman, tough take, will get rewarded with two free throws. And Tisha Hyman, the backcourt made of the Asia Fair, is this orange backcourt is really starting to get going and get this Syracuse offense where they want to be, a little more in system than they were in the first quarter. Hyman, the leading scorer for the Orange last season, knocks down her first free throw. You mentioned that Hyman only had single-digit points in each of the previous two games. She's on pace to break that short streak as she gets another free throw. And now Syracuse backs off a little bit. Elena Rice will still put a little bit of pressure on the Great Danes, but I'm actually surprised to see Coach Jack go away from the press as it was so successful for Syracuse in this second quarter. See if you Albany can get something set up in the half court. Heaps for three. Oh, where was that from? Grace Heaps, the leader and spiritual captain and captain for you all, but he liked that look and got it. Asia Strong trying to go right back to the basket, but her layup's too long. And now the Great Danes slow it down a bit as for a while there they were paying, playing at Syracuse speed and Coach Mullen wants them to play at UAlbany speed. Heaps thought about the triple again, instead skip pass down low in traffic. Hygerstrand finishes. Pretty assist from Heaps. Two good offensive possessions from there, and Hygerstrand finishes it. Tisha Hyman at a blistering pace gets the 14 footer to drop. Back and forth we go. Great Danes up two. Tisha Hyman is really getting going in this second quarter in her bag here with the jump stop, and she knows that Hygerstrand has a bit of a height advantage, so she goes right over her with a jumper. But a second and a half differential between shot clock and game clock. Albany drilled the bucket at the end of the first quarter. Trying to hold for last shot here in the second. Keeps in front of the Syracuse bench. Loses control, four to shoot. Hounded by two Syracuse defenders. Keeps needs to shoot, doesn't get it off, and it's a shot clock violation with one tenth of a second left on the first half timer. Not many plays you can run with a tenth of a second, Calvin. We'll see if they can just try and touch it. And Hyman takes the long one, but UAlbany still leads going into the half. And Syracuse, though, starting to get going a little bit. Welcome to the neighborhood. Now, did you know that Geico could help with your homeowner insurance? Hmm. Cookies. Oh, it's my mum's secret recipe. Is there a little nutmeg in there? It's a secret. Is it cinnamon? It's my mum's secret recipe. Geico. 
only watch. Coach Jack won low in the conference after a win over Wake Forest on Sunday, but you all be the task at hand. 20 minutes left to go, and the Great Danes have a two-point lead attacking the basket to our right in their purple uniforms. Syracuse right back into their player-to-player -player coming out of the half. This is the way they started the game before they went into a press. Three point up, three point in. You Albany picks up right where it left off. Heigerstrand knocks it down from the top of the key. Healy and Heigerstrand has scored in many different ways. She is their best shooter. Very effective from beyond the arc. Dariana Lewis to the basket, left it short, gets her a rebound, can't hit it again. Fights, and her third opportunity is no good. This time, Asia Strong's on the glass to clean up the mess. Asia Strong getting on the board for a Syracuse front court that was very quiet in the first half. Just two points from Lewis, now two for Strong, but you already held them in check for the first half. I'm sure Syracuse made some adjustments in that area in the halftime. And as the make some noise sign comes up on the Jumbotron, the kids here for school, they do just that, and it is a raucous. U Albany with 10 to shoot. Heigerstrand gets it back, goes to the basket, drops it off to De Cortez, who loses the handle. Jump ball, possession arrow back to the Orange. Coach Jack loves it with a fist pump. The Orange very active and swarming defensively, and that's not the first time this morning that they've forced U Albany to use the full shot clock, and they Forced the turnover there on the jump ball. Great Danes back into man to man. We've seen a mix of defenses from U Albany. They're going to switch it up with a number of different players, but one thing they will do is double the Asia Fair, and she finds the open shooter. Rice wide open in the corner, can't hit, but that's what teammates are for. Dariana Lewis on the glass for a pair. Weak side rebounding, something Syracuse is, emphasizes on the offensive side of the ball, and U Albany will have to limit. That's the first putback we've seen from Lewis in this one. And just like that, the rebounding battle tied back up again. Hagerstrand feeling it. This one rims out. Not a bad look for Hagerstrand right from the top of the arc. She hit one from there earlier. Fair, high arcing shot and in. Oh boy, was that a tough take by DeAsia. Pretty finish there, high off the window. And Fair picking up right where she left off in the first half, scoring in the paint. That's where the majority of her buckets have come so far. High into the passing lane, two on one with Rice. Lost the handle. Now a tough fall away. Rice with the offensive board. Fair, nice finger to the paint, extra pass, strong, 4-2. Timeout, U Albany. Felicia Leggett Jack is fired up, roaring, and the kids are getting going as well here in the Dome as Syracuse takes the lead by three here in the third quarter. We love our new home. Hoops out of the halftime locker room. The Orange trailed by a pair at the break, but now in an 8-0 run, up top by three. They get back to what they're best at. Weak side rebounding, Dariana Lewis finishing there, and then the run and gun style with DeAsia Fair attacking the rim and finishing, and then dishing on the possession after that. Syracuse has now taken the lead here in the second half. The Cuse has also flipped the rebounding battle down by two on the glass at the half, now up by two. Early stages, third quarter. Great Danes looking for answers. Starts with breaking the Syracuse press, which they do as Haney walks it over the timeline. Eigerstrand, top of the key for U Albany. The only points for the Great Danes in the third quarter with her triple from the top. Phillips with the basketball didn't score in that first half for U Albany. Haney, five to shoot, needs to go to work. Pulls up, short. Rebound, Tisha Hyman. Syracuse impressively still defending for that full shot clock, not getting tired and finishing out the possessions. And Asia Strong is bumped down low. Lily Phillips called for the foul. She can't believe it. Strong and Lewis were very quiet in the first half, but they have made their presence known here in the second on the offensive side. Hyman looking to go to Lewis. Great defense by Cooper. Kayla Cooper, an all-defensive team selection in the America East last season, forces the turnover. And you Albany turn it into points. Cooper gets it back down low, spins around and finishes. How about that for turning defense to offense? And you Albany really needed that one. They 
get that finish in the paint and get their offense going yet again. Lewis intercepts the pass intended for Fair and misses the jumper. Great Danes on the glass. Opportunity to grab the lead right back. The Great Danes look more calm coming out of that timeout and forcing Syracuse to be a bit more methodical here after that run. Hygerstrom, spin around, tough take, no, but free throws to come. Lewis thought she went straight up on that one, but Hygerstrom does draw the contact and goes to the line. Felicia Leggett Jack doesn't love the call either. As Hygerstrom went up about 5, 10 feet away from the basket. Not a spot where you want to get called for a foul. And now she's a pretty solid free throw shooter. Misses the first, though. The senior from Stockholm, Sweden, they call Heli, misses the first free throw. Member of the U-20 Swedish national team. And the leading scorer for the Great Danes. Goes one for two and ties the score at 40. Game tied at 40. Ivan and Fair, the backcourt tandem, played two women game. Fair steps back and connects. Good luck guarding DeAsia Fair when she's knocking down that shot. Very difficult. Even though she's five foot five, she creates the space there with the lateral movement and hits the step back. Phillips turns it over. Fair in the passing lane. Turbo boost to the basket. 4-2. And those live ball turnovers, Syracuse will make you pay for them as they are a very speedy team. DeAsia Fair having a heck of a third quarter. Coach Mullen told us for you, Albany, those scoop and scores for Syracuse are two points every time. Fair into the passing lane, and when she's in the open court, nobody is catching her. Orange back up 5 4. The Great Danes hanging around. They've still been effective offensively when they don't turn it over, and there's. Cooper from the free throw line. 16 footer for Kayla Cooper. And you said it, you all be hanging around a two point game. And then they create the turnover. Strong was cutting to the basket there, but Heiger Strong read it the entire way and grabs the steal. Heaps trapped in the corner, finds Cooper. Back to Heaps. For three, and Uelbany's back on top. Great ball movement from the Great Danes on that possession. Swinging it around and passing up an open shot for a more open shot. Fair. Oh, if that one would have dropped. Rings out, but she will go to the line after the break. DeAsia Fair getting Syracuse going as they take the lead. Getting the steal and finishing. U Albany, though, hanging around as they lead it by one. Go down! Okay, I'm an alien. If you're making a sci fi movie, you need to finish the special effects. Does that look good? And if you want to save by bundling home and car insurance, you need Geico. Uh oh. It's NBA Christmas Day, five-star studded matchups all day long, beginning at noon on ESPN and ABC. There's never been a better time to get away with a great deal on the Hyundai you've always wanted. With America's best warranty and up to three years complimentary maintenance. It's your journey. Own every mile at the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Hurry in to get our best deals of the season. Get in and get away. Lease a 2023 Tucson for just $2.59 a month or get 0% APR plus 500 bonus cash. Visit buyhyundai.com today. Just 10 seconds left. Our team Pork Chop Grillers back for a limited time in all its tender, marinated glory? 
Go ahead, call it a comeback. It's bow time. Hey, Peloton, step into your power. Let's go. Ah, you didn't come to work out. You came to out work. Let's get it. Yo. Boom. Come on, you got this. Every day, man's on the Hey, no challenge, no change. The team goes. Let's go. Get $400 off Peloton packages. Terms apply. Well, it's school day here inside the dome, but back in our control room, some eighth graders wanted to get their hands into the TV production side of things, and hey, I can't blame them. The Wellwood Middle School Agents of Change eighth grade class learning how our broadcast works, Carl. An opportunity I would have definitely taken up if I was an eighth grade. Absolutely, this is the opportunity of a lifetime, hopefully getting a chance to see how many people it takes to make this happen. Lots of action there in the control room, just like here in the dome. Quite frankly, I'm jealous, not only of the students back in our control room, but the students here inside the dome. I never had an opportunity to do this as a middle schooler, but hey, I can rest my case, I guess. Nothing, nothing we can do about it now, as the age of Bear is at the line for Syracuse, trying to try this game right back up. It's been a seesaw battle as Fair knocks in her first free throw. You already led by two at the break. Syracuse came out in an 8-3 run to start off the third quarter. Great Danes had steadied the ship, took the lead, and now Fair keeps it a tie game. This is the second free throw. These kids are being treated to a close one here in the Dome as it, they are trading blows. It looked like Syracuse had the momentum, but then out of the timeout, the Great Danes took it right back. Lee loses the basketball, but McEvans can't corral it. It rolls out of bounds. Tie contest, four minutes to go, third quarter for your UAlbany team trying to grab a win against the Power 5 program. What more could you ask for? Lee trying to feed it down low, and Lewis is in her way. Dariana pushing the pace. Fair, runner, off balance, no, strong, rebound, and finish. Strong with the hook shot there off the miss by Fair. Fair took a tough shot there, but Strong was able to clean it up. And now the crowd roars again as Syracuse backs up going back to player to player after they were in zone on the previous possession. Heaps pulls up. It doesn't get the roll. Fight for the rebound, jump ball, possession arrow stays with the Danes. Boy, does it get loud in here on school day. When they put that make some noise up, the kids very obedient in here, they do, and it sounds like a third down at a football game. You cannot hear yourself think here in the Loud House. I'm sure some of the teachers are like, why don't you listen to us when we put a sign up like that in the classroom to stay quiet? Different atmosphere here inside the dome, and when the Orange Faithful get loud, they get loud here on school day. Higerstrand trying to quiet him down, and she does. Higerstrand back on the board, and we're back tied at 47 apiece. Higerstrand said it all in this third quarter, putting the Great Danes on her back. As when Ellen Hane is out, Higerstrand is their leading scorer. Second personal, number three. Fair with a game high 18 points. Nick Evans straight to the basket, finds Lewis, who finishes right hand left side. Selfless play there from Cheyenne Nick Evans as she goes with a one handed pass, a nice find to Lewis, who puts it home to give the Orange the lead again. U Albany has had a counter punch for every Syracuse punch in this contest. Hygerstraw down low, and they punch back again. Right on cue, Helian Hygerstrong brings them even. And then she contested the Asia Fair layup, and the Great Danes grab the rebound. Calvin, how about these road warriors from U Albany? Are their 11th road game of the year in front of Syracuse's biggest crowd of the year, and they're going punch for punch with Syracuse. Peeps for three. U Albany on the glass. Annie 
will pull up, and Woolley grabs the rebound this time for Syracuse. Deasia Fair working one on three. She doesn't care, and she gets fouled on the way to the basket. Syracuse does a nice job of finding the outlet pass, knowing that anytime they get a defensive rebound, it'll be Deasia Fair or Tisha Hyman or the like streaking down the court. They get another foul call out of it, but not a shooting foul, so they will inbound from under the Great Danes who. Kayla Cooper back into the game for you, Albany. Green's going with the, a big lineup. Point guard, Lily Phillips, sits down. Fair thought about the triple. Now she steps back and cans the three. Deasia Fair, the jab step, the step back, nearly unguardable on that one, and she connects and again sends the kids here in the dome into a frenzy. Sometimes you just gotta tip your cap when the Asia Fair is doing that. Can the Great Danes respond again? Haney will try to. Left it short, and Fair grabs the board. A long one, and Haney didn't quite step into it. Now Syracuse has a chance to make it a two possession game. Asia Strong will try her luck from deep, and knock it down. She tacks on the fist bump, Asia Strong, that is a part of her game when she gets open. She connects that on that one. Back-to-back -back three pointers and a six point lead in this game feels like a 25 point lead. Hagerstrad thought about it. Haney from inside the three point line. No, Lewis on the glass. Orange can hold for last shot if they want to. Got a feeling they don't. Fair, strong to the free throw line. A clinic of passing there on that sequence for Syracuse in transition with Woolley threading the needle to Fair, who finds Strong, who will now go to the line. Asia Strong has turned herself into the six women for this Syracuse team. Started the first eight games of the season, has come off the bench the last three, and as a reserve, has upped her scoring. Drills her first free throw. As a starter, she was averaging just over nine points per game. Coming off the bench, she's averaging over 11 and a half points per game. 10 points today. Now 11, and the Orange continue to grow their largest lead of the day, up by eight, 15 seconds to go, third quarter. Now Coach Jack says it doesn't really matter who starts the game, it's about who finishes it, and you can expect that Asia Strong will be a part of finishing this one in the fourth quarter, just as she was Sunday against Wake Forest. Cooper trying to get something positive going for you, Albany into the third quarter break, and she does. Scoop score with a chance for one more. Cooper roars toward her bench as that was a tough finish, moving to her left here and then gathering and finishing with the right hand, getting a friendly roll and now a chance to complete a three-point play. And she finishes. Just when you think you all, but he's going away, not so fast. Does Hyman have a burst at the buzzer? Strong from way bit downtown. No good. And we head to the fourth quarter with SU up by five. Syracuse, a couple of three-pointers here as they got their offense going in this third quarter. Deasia Fair, the step-back triple. Jack are of one mind celebrating that one as the Orange took the lead in that quarter heading into the fourth. Fair back over 20 points again this morning. Her sixth 20-point game of the season had 25 20-point games in 34 contests last season at Buffalo. Starts the fourth quarter on the bench when Syracuse up by five. She played 29 in the first 30 minutes, so a much needed rest here. We expect she'll come back in and play the rest as Asia Strong getting going. Asia Strong showing off the range. She's feeling it from long distance. Strong had a three in that third quarter, and that was the long two. The Syracuse front court Really came alive in the third quarter after a nearly silent first half. Haney for three. Can't get the roll, but Cooper's on the offensive glass. Cooper, their leading rebounder last year. Coach Mullen mentioned she has lost a bit of explosiveness with a knee injury, but she's done a fine job tonight on the glass. It's another offensive board. And another. And is fouled.
about the grit of Kayla Cooper in just her third game back off injury, trying to will the Great Danes to a close contest here in the fourth quarter. Cooper doing the dirty work this morning as she grabs her own rebound and keeps the possession with you, Albany, who has been trying to win the possession battle all morning. And they earn an extra 20 second shot clock. Cooper gets rewarded with the open look and knocks it in. Back Quiet. down to a five point game. Quietly, Kayla Cooper has 15 points and she didn't play more than 20 minutes in the first two games. So shouldering a bigger load here for the Great Danes and her but you, as you mentioned, our third game of the season. Had just four points in the loss to Ohio State. That was the duty of guarding Asia Strong, what nobody wants to do right now. Here's Tisha Hyman. Off balance shot, no. Follows it up, though. Her shot, her Follows shot. an air ball. McEvans this time on the offensive glass. This is key for Syracuse. How could you run the offense without DeAsia Fair on the floor? Five seconds to shoot. Hyman loses the handle. Two to shoot. Off balance at the horn. She banks it in. Hyman making something out of nothing. What a ridiculous angle. Fading away there from long two range. A tough shot for Tisha Hyman. How did she get that one to go in? Shoot. Drives baseline underneath the basket through the contact and in. Gutsy take by Morgan Haney. And again, the Great Danes refused to go away as Syracuse was up three possessions there. Haney with a tough finish. Another player only in her third game of the season. Strong. Runner no good. And De Cortez is on the glass for the Great Danes. Coach Mullen told us yesterday, regardless of result, the one thing she wants to see her team do, stick together. They have stuck together in a heavyweight bout in a position to steal a win, down by five. Cooper trying to go down low today, Cortez. Tie up the Great Danes will keep possession. Great Danes have had a few tests this year. They, this is not the first ACC opponent they've played as they were within 12 of Boston College and then they went on the road Friday against Ohio State and were only down a possession at halftime to the number three ranked team in the country and now here sticking around on the big stage of the JMA Dome where they were beaten soundly three years ago. Five to shoot, De Cortez has to go to the basket. She does, but runs into the brick wall that is Asia Strong. Here comes Fair with tempo. Picks up the double team, shoots it anyway, no good. Strong on the glass with the left hand finish. Asia Fair will say that was a pass as she was lobbing it up in the direction of the hoop. And Asia Strong finishes it off for the Orange, who are again up three possessions. And Coach Mullen is fired up on the U Albany bench and wants a timeout. As the make some noise sign comes on the Jumbotron, U Albany needs a timeout. Syracuse up by seven, six and a half to play, and a fun one. In well, if you thought the energy has dipped at all since the start of this ball game inside the dome, you'd be wrong, especially with Syracuse with a 63. 57 leads, six and a half to play in the fourth quarter. And it's been DeAsia Fair who's been the headliner for the kicks. Fair started off hot in this game, getting to the rim, getting some free throws there, four or five from the line, and has continued that in the second half. But Kayla Cooper for you, Albany, who came off the bench in this game, has been getting it done as well with 15 and seven, cleaning up the glass. And she's been getting her post-up game going as well from the high post down to the low post. Four of those rebounds for Cooper here in the second half. She gets a touch and picks up the double team. Under 10 to shoot again for you, Albany. Heaps trying to get into the corner, but there's Georgia Woolley to pick it off. Fair ahead of the pack. Crossover dribble, floater high off the glass and in with a free throw coming. Deasia Fair's got it all going on. That's the second time we've seen her with this teardrop high off the glass and the touch of that shot what a difficult shot can't emphasize that enough now she has a chance to get another three-point play for Syracuse a big smile because why not DeAsia Fair appointment television 
and she completes the three-point play. Syracuse have double digits for the first time today. Syracuse also has double-digit steals in this game as Georgia Woolley forced one on a previous possession. And trying to pull away here. There's another steal for the Orange. Four on one. Lewis, Euro step, and in. How about the moves by the big? She gets the bench fired up. How about that from Lewis, the point center going coast to coast. This place is a madhouse, and the Danes turn it over again. Dariana Lewis could have dumped it off, but she goes with the Euro and finishes with the right hand on the other side. And the Orange are cooking with gas here in the fourth quarter. Lewis. Back to the basket this time, runs into a crowd, but there is Georgia Woolley out of nowhere to lay it off the glass and in. Right place, right time for Georgia Woolley. Everything going right for Syracuse out of that timeout. And you all, but he needs another break. A 14-point lead in this game is starting to slip out of the hands of Colleen Mullen and company. Coach Mullen and her squad falling behind in this contest, but the reigning champs of the America East, led by the ball coach in our fifth season, who had a four-year plan to turn things around in the state's capital. Did it last year going to the NCAA tournament, returning all of her team from a season ago, including two of their best players. Kayla Cooper and Kalina Heigerstrand have done a fine job here in this game, keeping them going offensively with 15 apiece, especially in this second half. They've fallen behind a bit here and need to continue going to these two players who have been leaders on this team for a while. Cooper, a junior. Heigerstrand, a senior, who actually played in this building three years ago. And this is a completely different UAlbany team from three years ago. Very competitive and favored to win the America East again, as you said. And for a great Dane team that was playing at their pace the majority of the first half, the Orange have started to sped up UAlbany and DeAsia Fair, the reason why. I don't know of a player faster than her. DeAsia Fair has put this crowd on their feet and into a frenzy multiple times in this game, treating the kids here for school day to a show. It's been the DeAsia Fair show for Syracuse all season, but especially in this morning matinee. You opening off the timeout looking for answers, and that's a start. Morgan Haney drops in the 16-footer. They draw that up right out of the timeout. They go to Haney, and she gets them going. They still have five minutes, plenty of time, but this is a tough margin, and Syracuse is hot. Asia Strong's been on fire from long distance, knocks it in. And they're going to count the basket with a foul on Kayla Cooper down low as well. A whistle, but Strong left wide open, and she has been on fire from the perimeter here. The post player getting it done from the outside. Strong's got 18 points off the bench. The lead for Syracuse is 15. And if I'm not mistaken, Calvin, she came into the half with zero. So I believe all 18 of those have come in this second half for Syracuse. 18 second half points for Asia Strong. Lewis can't hold on to the basketball. And the Danes down by 15. Time running out, four and a half to play. Phillips, top of the key. She has been scoreless. Cooper down low. Extra pass, heaps for three. Rims out, and Asia Strong doing work on both ends with the tough rebound. All the way up court, Dariana Lewis is fouled. Good find, but probably also a good foul as Lewis was in a good position. The vision of Deasia Fair to find the mismatch with Dariana Lewis and drawing the call for the Orange. They'll inbound now. Orange with a real opportunity to start to put this game away. Up by 15 against a great Dane squad that only averages 55 points per game. Strong heat check. Left it short, but Fair's on the glass for two. 
the shortest player on the court, cleaning it up. A rare rebound for Deasia Fair, and she is all smiles, and she continues to stuff the stat sheet. Fair with 24 points. Tigerstron, really tough take and a friendly roll. UAlbany needed that one, but what they really need is a stop, as those have been hard to come by for them in this fourth quarter. Not going to stop Tisha Hyman when she's stroking it like that. A confident take from the free throw line, and just when you think the Danes are coming back, Hyman makes it a 17-point contest once again. Hyman with the stop and pop, so difficult to defend as she elevates over the defender. She's gotten that going in this game, and it's hard to believe how close this game was for the first three quarters as Syracuse is really pulling away here in the fourth. Hyman with just four points now in the second half. A confident bucket there. Syracuse is still just as active defensively as they were early in the game. Here's Phillips for three. Still scoreless, but Hydrostrom's on the rebound for a pair. Wooly, open look, for three. Why not? The basket looks huge for Syracuse right now. Georgia Wooly with multiple threes for the first time since the season opener. And the Cuse has a game high 18 point lead. Freya Vert with the basketball, 10 points in the first half, none in the second. And the Great Danes turn it over. Fair, up ahead to Wooly. Right hand, left side for a bucket. And now Syracuse wants a timeout. A 20 point lead, what a fourth quarter this has been for the Orange, Calvin, especially on the offensive side. Georgia Wooly finding a spark in the second half. She's in double digits with a dozen. Georgia Woolley came over along with Coach Jack and Deasia Fair. She's gotten going in this game with a three early and then another three here in this second half. And she is a role player that the Orange are going to need going into ACC play. The reigning Mid-American Conference freshman of the year. Second on Buffalo behind now her teammate Deasia Fair with just under 15 points per game last season. Had 14 games last year for the Bulls with multiple three-pointers. Today, just her second, she's got 12 points. I believe this is her first game this year in double figures. And Wooly, the Aussie, has been in the starting lineup since she came back from injury in this season and really starting to find a home here in this Syracuse lineup. And she can trash talk a little bit too. Claims to be better than Coach Jack and assistant coach Sue Ludwig. In spades, the card game, the two coaches love to play on the bus. They have a trophy they give out for that. And Georgia Woolley went into Coach Jack's office and took it, just claiming she's better than both of them. Well, I would not want to see Georgia Woolley from beyond the arc or in spades, I guess, as she gets another steal there. And there's Tisha again. Can't get the roll this time. Twenty point lead for Syracuse. Cooper, a triple team. Skip pass, Vert. And Heidschraun dribbles it off the foot of Woolley out of bounds. The Great Danes will keep it. Well, the final score in this one likely not going to tell the full story with how good UAlbany was in the first three quarters, but Syracuse offensively has been as hot as we've seen them all season in this fourth quarter. Lee can't hit the three. Willie's on the glass. She's everywhere in the past three minutes. Here's Hyman. Gets bumped on the way to the basket. Follows on number three, Lily Phillips. The Asia Fair has gone to the bench for the Her Orange, first. likely for good. And 26 for Deasia, topping herself. And she had 25 on Sunday against Wake Forest. Only chance to shoot it again. This time goes to the basket. Can't right. finish off the glass. Lee with the rebound for the Great Danes. 90 seconds to go. Syracuse up by 20. Trying to close out the non-con with a perfect home record. Burt in the corner. Still scoreless in the second half. 
didn't play many minutes in the third quarter of Burt and has been unable to get going in this fourth quarter either after having 10 in the first half. Hyman loses the handle, but it goes right to Wilson who's on the block. And she'll go to the line for two. Zaniah Wilson could be an instrumental part of the Syracuse front court coming off the bench in the lead of Darion Lewis and Asia Strong. They really only have four true post players that Coach Jack prides herself in. She considers herself a post coach. Wilson, Lewis, Strong, and Kyra Wood. Wilson coming off a career high 13 points. This is her first free throw. That was in the win over Wake Forest. Opportunity to get on the scoreboard for the first time today. And she can't 0 for 2 at the line. A foul on Cheyenne McEvans going for the rebound. 22, Kyra Wood in for Syracuse. Follows on number 12, Freya Burke. Fourth personal. One of the biggest things for Syracuse this season is the hustle plays, that blue-collar mindset that Coach Felicia Leggett Jack has brought with her from Buffalo. And there's an award for that now. It's the Syracuse hard hat that they give to the team, that the player that has the most hustle plays. It was given out to Cheyenne McEvans after the win over Wake Forest. It started out as a subjective thing, but now there's a checklist for it. Give it to the player with the most dives on the floor, for forced turnovers, deflections, charges, and offensive rebounds. Nick Evans got it in the win over Wake Forest, and she goes one for two from the free throw line to put Syracuse up by three touchdowns. Cooper in the paint, rattles it in. Kayla Cooper. Kayla Cooper, one of the silver linings for UAlbany today. Just her third game of the season, their leading rebounder last year, and we mentioned the most outstanding player of the America East tournament, and they are going to need her as they go into conference play. Nick Evans with a smooth 17-footer. Lee loses it in the paint. Nia Wilson into the game. Ahead of the pack, Anna Irving. Instead, that's Elena Rice with the lefty layup. So it's the end of non-conference play for both sides. And Syracuse putting an exclamation point on the end of non-conference play here as they'll go into a matchup with Louisville on the 29th with some momentum. Orange going into ACC play 10-2. The reigning champs of the America East going into conference play at six and eight are the UAlbany Great Danes. UAlbany kept it really tight for three quarters, but at the end of the day here on school day from inside the dome, the Orange Shooters won out in a 23-point Syracuse win. The Orange pulled away in the fourth quarter with an impressive offensive performance led by DeAsia Fair's 26, and the Great Danes put up a